Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in The Sims 4 we are building a base game home. I feel like I haven't built a base game home in a while, so I decided I wanted to do that. And it's not limited at all, like, well no, like obviously it's base game, but like the funds are not limited. So I'm pretty sure this is like 95,000 simoleons, but I don't know, I feel like building with just base game is like a challenge in itself. And I definitely enjoyed building this home. So I'm happy that I did not have a budget. And the whole inspiration with this home was basically, I just wanted to use the hot tub because I don't really use it. I don't think I ever used it in like a serious manner. Like I used it before for like the Sims 4 10th anniversary and I used it in like the green or blue swatch, I think, because you can like really tell the plum bobs are on there. Um, but I decided to go with this red one for some reason. I don't know. I was trying to go with the green and it had like this light green metal roof, but we didn't have a matching swatch. Whereas we do have a matching swatch of the red metal roof. I didn't use the metal roof anyways, because I was like, this is weird. It feels weird for this home. But yeah, I like how it turned out. It's a three bedroom house. Unfortunately, there's only one bathroom, but hopefully that is okay. They have a nice big backyard space. And actually, I never built on this lot before. Um, I'm pretty sure this is right next to the um, pancakes. And yeah, I just never built on this lot before. Um, so it's to the right of them. I don't know. It's just like there's already a house here. So I just don't tend to think about building in the lots that are either have a home or is taken up by someone. But yeah, I love how it turned out. It's pretty nice. Um, I really wish they would change it so you could like put fences all the way to the line. Um, that's kind of annoying. Like, could you imagine how much better it could be if we could add fences to the, you know, I guess to the line? I don't know. But yeah, anyways, um, I was looking at the windows and I feel like, like the swatches just don't match each other. Like... I just, I don't know, it's weird. Like some of them don't have like that white trim to it. And also I'm just like, sometimes I'm like unsure if like, if this is like the right wood swatch or is it like slightly off? Um, so that was also hard, but I imagine two parents live here. They have one child and they have one teenager. Um, so on the inside, I go for like a green color scheme because I don't know, green is a cool color. And I feel like I use like, probably a lot of objects that I usually wouldn't use on the inside. So like I used a rug that is just terrible. I hate it. Um, I'm pretty sure I used like the fireplace. I don't really like that one fireplace from base game because it's like the longer one and I don't know. I don't like the swatches on it. It's not my favorite but then I also got flower boxes outside because I thought that was cute. Um, so we just do some landscaping. I decided to use one set of these debug flowers and they're like an orange color and you will actually see it outside of this lot but it's so pretty like honestly that's why that was kind of what I wanted to use as well but yeah I feel like I probably should make a base game starter home pretty soon I also feel like it's been a while since I've done that but I don't think that's enjoyable because one is base game and as I said before that is a challenge within itself and I don't know if I want to do two challenges at one time. I don't think that would be fun for me. It's always a struggle because like the objects are so expensive in base game. So like if you want it to look good and pretty full, you would need it to be basically very small. And also I did went to the gallery so I could get these string legs because I thought that would be nice above the pool. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to put there at first. I was like, oh, maybe this can be like the barbecue area and there's like the dining table. But yeah, and then I got some columns because I didn't like the little poles. I didn't think that looked good. And also this pole color is the wrong color. I do change it at the end um, because like obviously also it's hard to see in the outdoor lighting if it's the right color. So I needed help with that. Um, and also, I really enjoy the floor plan. It's pretty open, but it also feels a little bit closed. Um, I still haven't done, like, a fully closed floor plan where, like, the entryway is, 
its own room. The living room is its own room. The kitchen, the dining room, all is its own room. Because I don't really do that. I don't know. It's just I always lived um, with the place that has an open floor plan. Um, so where like the kitchen and the living room is all combined basically. Like it's open. It's not closed off. Um, so yeah, I'm just used to that, I guess. So that's just realistic to me. Um, but yeah, we're sticking to the outside pretty long. I usually wouldn't stick to the outside this long, but I did. Hopefully that is okay. And I do want to say I'm a little bit proud of myself. So yesterday morning I got up at like 7.30 a.m. and right away I worked out. I did it for like 30 minutes because I thought, you know what, I'm going to start off slow. I'm going to do 30 minutes and then eventually I will move it up to 45 and then an hour. I don't know if I'll do more than an hour, but we'll see. But yeah, I was so proud of myself. I woke up, I worked out for 30 minutes, I brushed my teeth, I had one cup of cereal. Obviously cereal is probably not the best. It definitely isn't. Also it's not filling at all because like I was doing it by serving size um, and I was hungry by like um, 11 o'clock, which is not usual if I get, um, I guess, I don't know, I guess I ate at 8 a.m. That's not too early. I guess, like, usually I would just, it's not a big bowl, but, like, maybe it's, like, two and a half cups of cereal, maybe. I don't, I don't know, but, like, yeah, I was hungry for lunch pretty early, which is not usual. I usually eat at, like, 12 p.m. Sometimes I can even eat at 1 p.m., but yeah, um, so then after my workout, I decided to brush my teeth and then I recorded a video and then I did my schoolwork, which honestly, I feel like I was very productive. Like I didn't like get distracted by my phone one time. I just did my schoolwork and yeah, so I didn't work out today because I, I put my alarm on for 730 so that way I can work out at 730. Um, but then I woke up like 10 minutes later because I was tired, okay? Even though I feel like last night, like I slept earlier than on Monday, I guess, or Sunday night, I slept earlier. Um, I think I slept at 12, like 12.40, 12.50 a.m. And I probably slept Sunday night at 1 a.m. Or technically Monday because it's 1 a.m. But I don't know if I what I just said made any sense. But... Yeah, anyways, I was very productive, so I was kind of proud of myself. Um, I was kind of like, maybe I should just work out today, because what if I'm not as productive? But I figured for me, I feel like recording in the morning is probably for the best. Um, so that's what I decided to do. Like, it feels weird, because like, I probably should put my schoolwork first. It's weird to do this first, because like, I guess if I don't get my schoolwork done and it's late, then I feel bad, but whatever, it's fine. I just figured this is the best time to do it. So, yeah. So, today I think I'm going to work on my website that I have to design. Oh, I'm so- I hate it so much, but it's the last thing. It's not due this week, it's actually due next week. Next weekend, but I was like, I should probably start on it and just get it out of the way. I'm pretty sure it's like the last assignment. It may not be because, well, no, I think it is because like I'm pretty sure school ends at like on December, like the like early December. So I don't know. But yeah, he was talking about like an exam, but like there's just the project. I'd rather do the exam instead of the project and like make my own website because that is stressful. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just don't enjoy it is too much i don't know why i'm doing this to myself but it is what it is um but i don't know what i'll work on today i guess i have an algebra test i'm done with one class um i just have to do like a discussion post and a test for algebra so that's pretty simple not too bad so like honestly this week is not too bad i guess honestly it's a pretty easy week so hopefully i can get like most things done today and maybe I'll be done by tomorrow because that would be nice I would have like Thursday and Friday of free time I guess that would be cool also I want to mention that I've been trying to make my own not my own cc not that that's too much but basically I wanted to like take a picture right that I edited it 
that I edited it. Um, no, edit. I edited it. I don't know if that sounds right. Um, anyways, sorry, but like, yeah, I was trying to put like a picture that I took a screenshot of. I edited it to make it look like a magazine cover and I wanted to put it like in a picture frame and there's a way to do that, but like the picture is blurry all the time. I tried with like just a poster is blurry so like I don't know if I'm doing things correctly or maybe it's just not good if it has words on it and maybe it would be better if it was just a picture but also then again like the picture itself was also blurry so I don't know like I don't know if I'm doing something wrong I feel like I'm probably gonna like try a different photo maybe because like I don't know but it's stressful because I would love to have the picture in game um, just for like storytelling purposes, but yeah, I just, I can't, I don't know how people do it. Um, but yeah, anyways, also I decided to like unlock the, um, bonus items for myself using like the Sims 4 Studio. I know like there's probably people that already unlocked it themselves, so I could have just already gotten CC like it, but I don't know. I was in the app. I was like, fine, I'll just do it myself. Um, so yeah, I'm just so upset that they did that, like that limited time bonus items for like cottage living because I really love that bike. Not to mention I switched from PS4 to PC so like the items that I did buy and get from actually buying the pack by a certain amount of time, I lost it because obviously I moved over to PC and they're not going to be like, oh, well, since you got this on your PS4 at the right time, here, I'm going to give it to you, which sucks because... I don't know, like, I just hate it because I can't use it. Like, I can use it on a build that I'm going to use for myself. But, like, if I built it for a home that I'm not going to play in and I thought, like, oh, this fits, I can't use it, you know? So that's kind of annoying because people are obviously not going to, like, check for CC when they're building because, like, they're not going to have the same CC and they don't want to be, like, um, well, I guess I'll just miss out on whatever CC they use because chances are they might have used a lot of CC. So it just sucks. Like, obviously I build more than I need to. Like, most of these builds I'm not going to play in. Like, it could be nice to place, um, if you need to place like a family, but like, I'm not going to play in these homes. So they're just building it for fun, but I also would like it to be useful for other people to get like use out of it instead of it just being a build that nobody uses and touches but yeah I also did it for fun so it doesn't matter but it would be nice if it was helpful to other people anyways I don't know why I'm going on about that but yeah we're just cluttering up the desk I also feel like base game just doesn't have that much clutter um also there's a lot of things that I would love to see them add to base game um and that has to do with like building by and create a sum, especially create a sum, because I feel like there's not enough clothing that screams teenager, you know? Like, I can, like, dress teenagers and young adults or adults in the same clothing, but, like, I feel like there's no clothing in base game that screams, oh, this person is a teenager, you know? Like, it just sucks. I don't know. I just wish there was more clothing dedicated to teenagers in the base game, um, because it's pretty rough. Um... And yeah, I don't know, but that's my complaint. And then for base game, I would just love more swatches on one. This bed could use more swatches because it only has three. It has that red color, it has the green color, and then it has the guitar swatch. And then also the cheapest bed could use swatches because it's ugly. I don't like the style of those. Um, but yeah, anyways, I do end up changing the wallpaper to be like a white orange color like a pastel orange so that is good um i also gave them a guitar because i was like oh they're into music i also gave them a mic a chair and that's pretty much it i will say i am still struggling to drink water um i don't know it's just hard um also i feel like i don't know like i tried lemon in my water and i don't like it like ew, ew yuck i don't like it so i want to try cucumbers i don't know i ever i it's like i thought i always thought like cucumbers taste plain to me like i don't know though like my mother doesn't like cucumbers like are they plain or am i just tripping but i want to try to put cucumbers in my water because like maybe that will help i just need something 
like there needs to be taste and I feel like it needs to be like a strong taste and something that tastes good because I just it's hard it's really hard but I have to get through this um I don't know it's it's rough out here but I was trying to put like posters on the wall um I wasn't sure if I liked it I felt like I probably needed an accent wall now thinking about it I probably could have just did a white brick for some reason I feel like I forgot about that in this house um so that sucks and then I believe um we work on the parents room after I also gave them a fishbowl so that is good um but yeah we work on this room it's pretty simple I gave them an easel I believe and I may or may have not gave them a bonsai tree I'm unsure because like I don't know like, like I built this yesterday but like I just I'm very unsure if I kept it or not I don't know if it fit correct fit correctly also I want to say like oh there's also that like what do you call it that opposite attract sign thingy um it's a rug the rug I never used that before it looks so weird but yeah I also wish there were better rugs in base game because I hate all of them pretty much I don't like them they're ugly to me also I don't really build in this style like this style does not scream to me at all um I don't like it but I went for it and I think it looks good but it's not my favorite style um, and yeah, I like the green we went for it. Also, don't be mad, but the fireplace is off center with the bed because I thought maybe it could center the wall instead. Um, because I think that was probably better for the easer, the easel, the easer, the easel. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Obviously, I suck at speaking. Um, please, I apologize, but yeah, um, I just got like a plant on the fireplace. I alt placed it. I'm pretty sure I get like a long mirror and yeah this is just me figuring out the placement of everything um so yeah it looks like I keep the easel hopefully oh yeah no I got rid of the bonsai tree and also the easel is like once you walk in so I guess there's that um and then I was like oh should I get a mirror on top of the fireplace but like it would probably just be there for decoration because it's obviously too high up but I felt weird to put like a picture next to a picture because I wanted to put like a picture next to the um the chair because I wasn't really sure what to put there so we'll see what I put there. Oh I put that little plaque thingy so I think you get that when you're in the writer career um, and then we're moving on to the child's bedroom. So yeah I went for like a blue, pink, and light purple color theme. I believe I gave them like a science table I think I think I gave them a science table um so that's pretty cool I'm just decorating their nightstand at the moment and yeah I don't know this room is pretty simple um I put a little bit of toys I think I gave them like a book bag um but yeah there's not really much going on in this child's room but I, I love it. I think it's cute. I, I really like this house. And for it to be base game, I'm really proud of myself because I felt like, honestly, I feel like this might be my most favorite base game house that I have built. If that's honest, if that's, if I'm telling the truth, I guess. But yeah, I also gave them like a nightlight. I don't know if that's the one that like keeps your sims like away from the dark because I feel like there's only one that does that, but I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that one also has a bug. So, like, you can't, um, like, one of the swatches work. Only the default swatch works. And the other swatches don't. So, that is very unfortunate. And on this wall, I get a unicorn. And I think we should be moving on to the bathroom. Um, so, yeah. The bathroom is the bathroom. It's pretty simple. Um, not that important. It looks like we're paused. I'm so sorry. Um, but I don't know. I don't like the base game tiles either. Like, if I don't think it's cute, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have to just build with things you don't like. Um, also, I feel like maybe I could do more, like, I don't know, base game plus one other pack build. Um, I guess if it makes sense, because obviously dine out would not make sense for a house, obviously, because I usually build residential lots because 
community laws are just out of my comfort zone. I don't think I'm good at them, but maybe I should try to do them more. I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't built like a community lot in Ravenwood yet, but I don't know what lot I would build. Like, obviously I could build a graveyard because I haven't done that yet either, but I don't know. There's already a graveyard in Ravenwood, so I think that's fine. But like, oh, maybe I could do a spa. It's just like, when I think of spa, it's like, does that spa stuff fit the vibe of um, Ravenwood? I don't think so. Same with the gym. You cannot put a gym in Ravenwood. You could, but I don't know. Because like the gym equipment, it doesn't fit that style. And I don't think there could be one that does. I mean, I guess you could put like a new edition building in Ravenwood. And it would be like a little bit modern. I don't know. <laughs> Like, you can make it work shortly, but I don't know if I did that if it would look good, you know? So, I could put a cafe. Like, that could be nice. Um, um, that's- Ooh, I could do a wedding venue. I don't think I will do a wedding venue. I'm planning to do one, um, I guess next Sunday? Or- I don't know. Honestly, I don't. My upload schedule is crazy, so it could be this Sunday- that I'm planning to do a wedding venue. So look out for that. Actually, maybe I should go check my schedule. <laughs> Let me just go check that real quick. So it's not this Sunday, but the Sunday after this one <laughs> is when you're gonna see a wedding venue. I think I'll probably build it in Cottage Living because Cottage Living is just so beautiful. So I would love it. I would love to build there. Um, I probably will build it on like a 30 by 20 probably, maybe a 40 by 30. I don't want it to be too big. Like, I can't do big lots. That is just terrible. A terrible idea. But we're wrapping up the build pretty much. I'm just getting some trees. I always save the trees for last. And then we should be painting the ceiling, doing some terrain paint, all that good stuff. Um, getting some planter boxes out in the front. Hopefully you can use that. And I also got a bird bath. Um, cause I thought that was pretty nice. I was kind of hoping for like a bird house in debug. I didn't look through debug. I just searched bird and was like, hmm, maybe it'll show up. But there's probably isn't one, but that's unfortunate cause it would be cute. And then I'm adding in some like extra bit of flowers. I also put like a telescope outside. Um, so that's nice. Hopefully they can make it back inside if they are close to death. Um, hopefully not. I don't know. Um, I don't really like killing my sims. I'm too attached to them. Like, that's just one thing. I'm attached to them, so yeah, that just sucks, but I just- it, they're- they are everything to me. I cannot, like, kill them. Even if, like, it was a full household, it would be a hard time to kill them. Like, if they were young- well, not kill them, but, like, delete them. So, like, if they were an infant, it's easier- to delete them because they don't really have any personality like I don't even know who they are yet you know like even a toddler but like I feel like at the childhood stage when they're a kid or a child however you want to look at it then I'm like oh no I can't do it I'm attached so yeah but we're wrapping up this build I was kind of thinking like should I put a fan but like maybe not I don't know if that looked good and then I just changed the light fixtures um and delete the um saucer lights I guess um, but yeah, I think it looks good without. Hopefully the microwave works. If it doesn't, it's okay because honestly, I plan for that to be, um, what do you call it? Decoration. But I'm gonna jump into the game and give you guys a tour. So here's the base game house. Pretty lovely. So out in the front, they have some gnomes. We have our mailbox, some planter boxes. And then over here, we just have our landscaping with our bird bath. So you enter from the side and you walk into the living room space. So you have a nice little bookshelf. You have a fake fireplace and a TV. They have a chair, a clock and then they can put their coat away and then they can look in the mirror before they leave and then if you walk this way this is the kitchen area so oh i'm so stupid okay well 
we have a microwave and then we have another microwave. Okay, well, that is interesting. I feel like when I was building, I was like, oh, I already have a microwave. Let me replace it with a coffee maker. And I just forgot, I guess. But over here, we have a nice little dining room. Pretty nice, they have a hutch. And then if you walk this way, you get into the hallway. So we have like a nice little desk area. Over here is the teenager's bedroom. They have their own bookshelf. They have some posters. They have their guitar, their mic, their fishbowl, everything they need. And then over here is our other child's bedroom. So I went for like the pink, the blue, and the light purple color. So they have Blarfy. They have a science table. Um, they also have a violin. I forgot I put that. And then over here is the parents' bedroom room pretty simple i thought maybe they're into space which is why i put a telescope as well um they have like a bag full of money and they also have like an easel and a fireplace and then this is the bathroom for everyone um pretty simple it's just the bathroom but when you walk outside this is the grilling area i have some planter boxes i have a dining table and then over here we have our hot tub with our lounge chairs and then we have a pool with our fairy lights which is very cute and then we have our telescope and our trash cans and that is the full build um so here is the top down view if you want to take a look at it but it looks so beautiful in the evening time in the front at least and before we go honestly i feel like i forgot to do this but i want to put light switches so maybe this one is for the kitchen this could be for the dining room honestly i'll put two over here so that way like one is for the porch light one is for the living room and then this is for the porch light as well and then maybe this one is for the hallway and then one in the bathroom of course but yeah i think i'm gonna end the video off here let me just upload it to my gallery so three bedrooms one bathroom and if you want to download it it's on my gallery at sims delicious and it only uses the holiday pack which is free so that should be good but if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys tomorrow bye